Hello, I'm Madeline Rojero, Mayor of the City of Knoxville in the great state of Tennessee. I'm sorry that I cannot be at your conference in person, but I am honored to speak with you today about the value of cooperatives and how they can be a very worthy investment for a city. Specifically, I want to tell you about our own local food cooperative called the Three Rivers Market and the investment our city made to help them expand. The Three Rivers Market has served Knoxville for more than 30 years and has more than 3,600 owners. I know this because I am one of them. My family has shopped at Three Rivers Market for more than 10 years. Three Rivers has long held to the values and principles on which cooperatives are based. Self-help, self-responsibility, democracy, equality, equity, and solidarity. Their commitment to these principles, along with the strong management of Jackie Arthur and her team, led the City of Knoxville to make a significant investment in Three Rivers. In 2009, when I was Director of the City's Community Development Department, we provided gap financing of $450,000 to the co-op to help them relocate and expand their business. We used Federal Empowerment Zone funds from two different programs. This included a repayable loan of $400,000 from our Business Expansion Loan Program with a 5% interest rate for 10 years and a deferred payment loan of $50,000, which ultimately became a grant if certain criteria are met. I remember when the local bankers on the City's Loan Review Committee reviewed the Three Rivers Market loan application. They were very impressed with Jackie, the co-op's general manager, and with the financials she presented that showed equity and funding other funding partners. The bankers were not familiar with the co-op model. Jackie quickly won them over with her thoroughness and, and knowledge and with the growth and success that the co-op had experienced even during the economic recession. The city's loans helped Three Rivers move from a space with four parking spots to more than 40. By the way, if those four spots were full, which was most of the time, you had to park across the street in the lot of another business and risk your life crossing the busy street. The old space had limited refrigeration and no loading dock. It was bursting at the seams with products and people, had one tiny little bathroom for customers, and two short checkout lanes, you know, where you had to bag the groceries real fast so there was room for the rest of the groceries after they were rung up. Still, I loved going there because the food was great and so were the people. Well, the new facility is so much better. In fact, it is three times larger with ample refrigeration, a deli, a meat case, dining in tables, several regulation size checkout lanes, much improved bathrooms, wide aisles, a high ceiling with high windows to let in sunlight, and a loading dock. It's still on the bus line and is convenient for biking and walking. It is located in the downtown north revitalization area and a commercial district we affectionately call Happy Holler. The city is investing in this area with public infrastructure improvements and commercial building facade grants, which has encouraged property owners to fix up their buildings and attract new businesses to the neighborhood. This expansion allowed the co-op to improve their customer service dramatically and increase their business hours. The community has responded with enthusiasm. I know firsthand that investing in our local co-op has been a wise decision for our city, and we are already seeing a great return on investment. Co-ops not only provide a service to their customers, but they also foster a greater sense of community, stimulate the local economy, and create a healthier and more sustainable environment. Let's talk about each of those. Three Rivers Market is committed committed to building a healthy and sustainable Knoxville. Thousands of people have invested in the co-op as owners, and the co-op is a source of civic pride and community building that has encouraged other programs to flourish. For example, the Urban Land Scouts is a group dedicated to promoting and teaching good land stewardship. They hold a bi-weekly workshop at Three Rivers. All are welcome to come and learn about being a better caretaker of our urban area. Our co-op will soon begin hosting monthly art exhibits and serves as a platform to encourage a variety of local artists. Three Rivers Market stimulates the local economy by providing jobs and by supporting local farmers and bakers and other businesses. 
Their facility expansion has enhanced their capacity to get products and helped them provide a larger market for local farmers. For example, they specialize in authentic, local, organic, and naturally grown foods, including fresh produce from local farmers like J.D. Demick, local cheeses from Sweetwater Valley Farm and Locust Grove Farm, fresh local milk from Cruz Farms, and fresh local breads, breads from Teleco Grains and uh, Harry's Delicatessen, and many more healthy and delicious foods from local farmers and businesses. In my opinion, Three Rivers Market inspired and led the current movement in Knoxville to support local farmers. This has resulted in several popular local farmers markets, including one downtown that operates two days a week, and the growth of local grocers and restaurants that choose locally grown organic and fresh foods. You all know this. When we buy locally, our money gets reinvested locally and has a multiplier effect on the economy and the workforce. Our co-op is having a positive impact on the environment. First of all, the new facility was built with energy efficient features. They purchase organic foods that are grown without pesticides and in a sustainable way. It has been estimated that the average American meal travels about 1,500 miles to get from the farm to your plate. Co-ops like Three Rivers reduce that travel to fewer than 100 miles by working directly with local farmers. That means foods and produce are fresher and cost less in the long run because transporting food long distances is expensive and creates environmental concerns, as you all know. To keep food fresh, it is often carried by air freight, which generates 50 times more emissions than truck shipping. So a co-op that is within 100 miles of a farm is often a better way to supply your food and lessen those nasty emissions. Mother Earth will be grateful. Again, co-ops not only provide a service to their customers, but they also foster a greater sense of community, stimulate the local economy, and create a healthier and more sustainable sustainable environment. Three Rivers offers so much to our city and our city's investment is certainly paying off. I would encourage any municipality to get to know their local food co-op and determine if there are opportunities to partner in ways that build community, stimulate the local economy, and create a healthier and more sustainable environment for your city. The United Nations General Assembly passed a resolution to declare 2012 the International Year of Cooperatives. This gives us a great opportunity to join with people around the world to highlight the successes of cooperatives in our own cities. I am certainly pleased to share with you how proud I am of our food co-op, the Three Rivers Market. As you gather in Raleigh with Cooperative Development Services, the National Cooperative Grocers Association, and other key groups and members, I hope more municipalities will learn the benefits of co-ops and work with you as willing partners and as investors. And I can't end without extending an invitation to all of you to come to Knoxville to experience our wonderful Three Rivers Market. And while you're here, Enjoy our beautiful greenways and recreation areas, our 1,000 acres of urban wilderness, our vibrant downtown, our restored neighborhoods, our Appalachian history, and our talented local artists and musicians. Stop by anytime. We'll be glad to see you and enjoy your conference. <music>